When the weather is nice in San Francisco, you get out and enjoy it. Had a friend visit from Spokane, Washington, got to see some friends down the peninsula in San Carlos and Burlingame, hung out in the San Francisco Castro District. It was a great week. And thanks for dropping by the channel, and I hope you enjoy. See you the best breakfast sandwich in all San Francisco. Oh my god. And cut it all the way. Oh my god. Best breakfast sandwich in San Francisco. RJ's five bucks, bacon, avocado, tomato, egg, and mayonnaise. It's weird, but it's good. <laughs> enjoy. With the views of the Koi Tower. Like this. This is so, people don't know about this. Yeah, it's a lot of stairs. Uh, how many stuff? Huh? How many stuff? 500, stuff? I would say. Oh, uh, so exhausting. Good workout. Good workout. <laughs> Limon is one of my favorite restaurants. It's Peruvian and these are their famous empanadas. This is the mushroom empanada. Comes with this really flavorful yellow sauce. And for my main, I had this short rib dish. Again, full of flavor. I had a chance to go up to San Carlos and do a hike with my friends. San Carlos is about a 35 minute drive from San Francisco. And look at all these trees that you're surrounded by. Here in the video. And tall friends. This was a great hike, lots of great views, and lots of great hills. Oh my god, this is the cutest dog ever. Hello, thanks for the love. Back on the peninsula, this is Burlingame Avenue. As you can see, there's a lot of outdoor dining to accommodate patrons in fresh air. <laughs> mm. Ooh, look at that. What, is, what, what did you get? What, what did you get? Farmhouse, um, farmhouse pottery. And a cute dog. What, what did you get? Later that day, I uh, headed back to the city. I invited some friends to a vegan event. This was hosted by Vita Bowl. And my friend owns a restaurant out here and throws these pop-up events. So I thought it'd be fun to go check it out. My goal is to be a like low-key YouTuber that nobody notices. But... <laughs> I forgot to take footage of me eating the food, but trust me, they were so delicious. We decided to head out to the Castro District afterwards to go check out the outdoor dining. It was available and open. We were so full, the only thing we could really eat were the onion rings. But we weren't too full for those drinks. It's the next day and we decided to hang out again and my friends were so kind to bring some dim sum treats. So delicious. And we're back in the Castro again. We want to check out another spot called High Tops and we were waiting for a table here and I thought these flowers were really beautiful so just wanted to give them some love. After tearing up some chicken wings, we decided to end our day with some ice cream. You can't go wrong with that. So we are here at the Castro Fountain and I decided to try their vegan flavor of the day, which was a coconut flavored ice cream. And it was so delicious. Thanks for dropping by. I'll put a link of the restaurants and spots we visited, uh, but thanks for visiting Nevin SF and I'll check you guys out later.